Hey, good day, folks. Welcome to Andrew's Life. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. I know I cannot complain. I am enjoying this nice fall day here in Alabama. I do miss the fall up in Indiana because up there the trees turn more colors than they do down here. Up in Indiana, up in Indiana uh, you know, you have you got yellow, red, brown. You got, you know, down here, basically all you have is green and brown, but whatever. It is what it is. I... I'm, I'm still blessed to be here in Alabama on this wonderful fall day. So, let's get to it. Well, you know, a lot of us are going back and forth, talking amongst each other, talking on social media. Some of us, you know, a lot of us are voicing rather we're going to vote for Donald Trump, rather we're going to vote for Harris, or rather we're going to vote for the couch. And as you know, and I'm pretty sure that some of you that are also having discussions amongst yourself of who you're going to vote for on the local and state level, which you should be having. But I'm going to discuss briefly an individual that all of us should vote for, no matter who you're voting for, no matter who you might be voting for, no matter what political party that you affiliate with. Or you identify with, rather. No matter who you are. No matter what your ethnicity is. Uh, one person. That you should vote for. And you should vote for this individual. On a daily basis. Is yourself. See a lot of us. We tend to put a lot of emphasis. On who we're going to vote for politically. But. We don't put enough emphasis on ourselves and let me break that down now i'm pretty sure some of you know exactly where this conversation is headed and if you do congratulations you're ahead of the game but i'm gonna break it down anyways when i say vote for yourself i'm talking when it comes to your day-to-day -day decisions the decisions that you make on a day-to-day -day basis whether you realize it or whether you realize it or not, you're voting for yourself. Like, how do you spend your money every day? Do you get up every day and pack yourself a lunch so you can save yourself a little bit of money so you don't buy out every day? Or do you get up every day, you don't pack anything, you you, you rush to work, and then you buy lunch every day, you buy your breakfast every day, and then at the end of the month you wonder why you're broke, you don't have no money. And you're unable to put anything away for your retirement. And when it comes to your vehicle. Do you drive vehicles that you can afford to pay cash? Or do you pay six and seven hundred dollar plus a month payments? Do you purchase homes or rent home or, or rent homes that are within your means? Or do you tend to overextend your credit because you feel you deserve something nice? How do you allocate your resources? Uh, what type of company do you keep in your life? Do you, do you hang around people that are positive? That are going to in some way add something positive to your life? Or do you hang around people that are just losers and... They're not going to really add any value to your life. All they're going to do is attempt to bring you down to where they're at. And of course, what kind of work do you do? Are you doing work that is A, uh, fulfilling? Are you working an occupation that you like? Or are you working an occupation that you absolutely despise and you can't stand? And... The only day you're thinking about throughout your work week is Friday because Friday is your last day of work before you're off the weekend, assuming that you're not working a second job. And also, uh, what kind of books do you read? For those of you that still read books. For many of us that tend to surf the internet for different reasons, what do you spend your time online surfing? I mean, what do you watch online? 
or you're watching stuff that's educational that's going to add value to your life or you're watching a bunch of brainwashing garbage now if you're watching a bunch of brainwashing garbage I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that I'm just saying if you're going to watch some garbage I watch garbage myself I'm not going to lie but, but in my opinion you need to balance that out with stuff that's positive stuff that's going to in some way add value to your life So what is it you do with your life? How do you allocate your resources? What people do you have in your life? And, the, and, and you know, however way you move, you're voting for yourself, whether you realize it or not. Now, honestly, before you can effectively even think about who you're going to vote on a political level, you you need to first focus on yourself and vote for yourself. Because if you vote for yourself, you will be able to, it will be much easier for you to choose who you're going to vote for on a political level, rather it be federal, state, or local level. Because part of voting for yourself is also having a healthy understanding of your personal values of your beliefs what it is out of life you desire to have what are you willing to do to have what you want to to get what you want out of life that's all part of voting for yourself and voting for yourself is something that we all need to be doing on a daily basis in fact it's something that we all do on a daily basis Rather you realize it or not, or rather you look at it as, as such or not. Because to me, it is impossible to vote for a politician until you have first voted for yourself. I mean, because how are you going to put the faith of your life and your being in the hands of another human being before you look in the mirror and you do what you got to do to get your own life straight. And I don't care how much taxes that we pay into the system. I don't care how unfair the government might be. I don't care how crooked politicians are or, or might be or whatever. I don't care about any of that. Before you can vote for anybody else. Outside of yourself. You got to first vote for yourself. Because my attitude is. If I don't have any faith in myself. I can't. With a good conscience. Expect anybody. Outside of myself to have faith in me. If I don't show up. And participate. In my own life. I can't with good conscience expect anybody else to do that for me. And I don't mean to get red pill here because this ain't that type of a channel. But uh, for those of you for those of you men that are single and you're feeling some kind of way because you can't find yourself a woman that uh, that you desire, that you feel you're qualified to date or whatever the case might be. And apparently there's been men out here that decided to crash out and, and delete themselves over over a woman, which which is very sad. And for those of you that are thinking about doing that, I would advise you right now, this right this second, to cut off this video, get on the phone, and call somebody for some for some professional help. Or at the very least, if there's anybody in your life that's that you're close to. And, and you, you know, and they care about you and everything like that. Sit down and have a conversation with them, and then maybe they can get you some help. But when it comes to dating, honestly, you know, again, you gotta vote for yourself. I mean, you can't expect a woman to show up for you and to be there for you. And to effectively participate in your life until you do all those things for yourself.
so that's all I got on this one uh, and, and this video is not real long it's a little over 10 minutes at this point but that's all I got I just wanted to keep it to the point so stay blessed I'll catch you guys on the next one